Hi, I'm Catherine Rosati and welcome to Stockport War Memorial Art Gallery. For Town of Culture 2023, we've got an amazing exhibition on here called The Real Public Art Show. The Real Public Art Show, which is on until Thursday the 21st of September. We've got some amazing artwork here in the exhibition, but don't take my word for it. Let's hear from the artists themselves. Okay, I'm Rosie Holdaway. I work at the Stockport Plaza Theatre and for this exhibition and previously I made the Stockport Plaza in Lego. Uh, it's an ongoing project, um, as I say whenever we do a little bit of restoration work another bit gets added so the most recent piece of restoration work that we've done is in the back corners of the balcony we've had the murals recreated uh, by local artist Bridget Brind and I've sort of mocked them out as best I can with Lego bricks to show the lakes and to show the trees. Um, the image is called Cresting Light, taken in Portwood a couple of months ago when I was out on an adventure in Stockport. I like to just walk around Stockport and capture life itself, the people, the architecture. There's something truly special about Stockport itself where it has a deep industrial history that's resonating through the people itself. A very working class people but also deep in history. I've always been absolutely fascinated by blackbirds. Um, I think they rival the nightingale easily. Not that I've ever heard a, a natural nightingale, only ever on, you know, on YouTube or something. But blackbirds, I think, are absolutely are real songsters. Um, the variety, and pitch changes, rhythmic, rhythmic and sort of harmonic things. So when I heard this especially fine um, example of a blackbird song, and they actually change their song each year. Um, you, get a, you get a new song, it starts very tentatively um, round about March uh, and then develops and gets longer and more varied and uh, the, there was a particularly fine one one year, I, I called him Mr Vivaldi and he basically was the uh, inspiration for this poem which is a, a sonnet. So I am Ananya, uh, by profession I am a software uh, engineer and by my passion I'm a painter. Okay, so I'm from basically from India but currently I'm living in Stockport for last uh, four years. So my painting is about uh, abstract painting which symbolizes like uh, the soul seeking for divine love. Okay, so uh, so it is all about like people loving each other, respecting each other, sacrificing uh, without any expectations. So here in Stockport, in the couple of last years, I found like there is people with different cultures live respecting each other. They help each other, but in return, they don't need anything. So it came into my idea like, why not think about broader appeal, like spread love where this Radha Krishna symbolizes. So that's why I just named this picture like Stockport, the town of cultural diversity. Well, I'm Sue. Um, I volunteer at Arts for Recovery at the Hatworks. And one of the ladies there suggested that I enter something for this gallery. So, and it, that link had to be with Stockport. I thought, well, I live in Kale Green, which is near to the Blossoms pub and I love Blossoms the band, so, and I love Blossom Pink, don't know if you could sort of give it away. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I wanted to do something with Blossoms, obviously, and then the whole thing ties in. Um, and it's mixed me because I don't really do landscapes, portraits. It's just, my thing is always a bit of everything. It's just <laughs> a kind of reflection of me, <laughs> I suppose. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> The blossom thing was the first idea because obviously I've even got them on my chair, you know, I love blossom. Um, and I thought, I really love the band. And the Blossoms pub is round the corner from me, literally. So I just thought, yeah, that's, that's what got me started. My name is Ryuji, uh, Ryuji Koto. Um, I live in uh, Stockport for over 35 years and counting. And uh, I love Stockport. My inspiration for this particular painting is uh, not quite 
usual because uh, I started walking in the morning, dawn walking, in the, when the lockdown happened, and uh, you are allowed to walk one hour or something. So start exploring just the neighbor, and uh, I really discovered my local, just a very close vicinity, and uh, particularly by the canal. So a lot of lot of parts in my in my poem it's about um, realizing that not perfect is perfect and more importantly love yourself like nobody is with it like that's that's the biggest message in my in my piece of poetry <laughs>